When did Crosley start the uh, cars? I have a 1937 Crosley, but they didn't start producing them until 39. That's it, experimental was the very first one. He made his first million making that little thing that fits on a Model G radiator cap that holds the pipes. Made his first million selling them. So he sold car accessories long before he did the car stuff. Crosley was trying to build little economy cars, but people were wanting big cars in, and that was probably their biggest hurt. Because right here, when they were in their prime time, people was going for V8s and bigger, bigger, bigger cars, and Crosley was trying to sell them little cars, and not what they wanted. So that's probably hurt as much as anything. And then that tin engine didn't help them, they didn't have a very good reputation. Or don't ring a bell once it's right and wrong. Cleaned it up, got it running, it runs really, really good. That's, that's the best running across the engine he's ever been around. Hmm. Um, and I mean, it was that way. I mean, when we drug it home, it still had the battery in there from 95. Dwayne's here, this is a sports car. This is his car. I got a red one like that at home. And uh, this was their sports car that they made a hot shot first and then the Super Sport. This is the Super Sport version which has permanent doors. So uh, Crosby's headquarters was in Cincinnati, Ohio. The four cylinder ones were made in Marion, Indiana. The guy that had it was kind of a clown, so he got the head the fog lights turning with the steering wheel and wheelie bars on the back and stuff like that. We left him on there in his name. So. Yep, there you go. <laughs> People see him up in a car building and they think that lights are wrong so they get over there and they turn them on by hand because they think the lights are perfect and they don't realize they steer with the wheels so 